All right, everyone. This is Mark Kevy, and welcome back to the Commonwealth. Well, that was fun. I mean, anytime there's a death claw with his you know, tail off and raiders with their heads off, usually the sure sign of a good time. Well, I think that proves that we can certainly handle ourselves in the Commonwealth, and that was quite impressive. Anyways, before we get into this and go see what, um, what was his name, Preston, see what they roll up to, let's, a uh, couple of things, a new couple of mods, one of which, Snappable Junk Fences, yes, Snappable Junk Fences, that is <laughs> brilliant name for a mod just because of how useful that's going to be. That's really going to be useful in settlement building. And then the next one is the NCR Ranger Veteran Armor, um, which is a craftable set at the chemistry station, I believe. And so hopefully we'll be able to find, find slash make a set of that. I'm assuming the requirements are pretty darn high above my level, so maybe on down the road. But I think that would be a really cool look for our man. So... Now, another thing, I've actually already recorded this and played this whole part, episode 2. Which is why this is coming out a few days later than I would have liked. I went on to the video, after I recorded it, over an hour of footage, about an hour and six minutes of footage. And there was no video. There was no video, there was only audio. And I checked my recording program, and I was on the wrong video source. So it recorded audio, it recorded the game audio, but it did not record the video, the game actual video. Which is an utter shame, but um, being the brilliant role player slash let's player that I am, no. Um, I'm going to just pretend like that never happened and continue on. So, now that that's all been said, let's get right into the video. Now, my big question is, what are these people going to do from here on out? Because they're clearly kind of helpless. Let's be honest here. Well, I mean, not helpless, but we well, got a drugged out old lady. You've got a crazy woman. You've got a crazy guy. All right, let's let's get out of the power armor here. Oh, huh? no, no, no! Just give me a second here. Yeah, I bet I bet you are. Just give me a second. Here. I just want to disable that so no uh, ne'er do wells can get their hands on it. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, whatever. You guys gonna be okay now, though? You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. That's good. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Mm, bit of an exaggeration. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. Huh. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. Oh, well. <sighs> Fine, I'll just take it. What happens now? Yeah, well, that, that's what I really want to know. What are you guys going to do now? What happens now? For the longest time... We're kind of friends, right? Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. <sighs> vision. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. Saint Wait, that's my neighborhood, isn't it? Ooh. And we're going to start forming like an army or something. That would be kind of cool. Um. Yeah, what would I need to do? Well, yeah, just tell me what I need to do. What would I need to do? You oh, need God. to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. Is that so? I've seen it. You've seen it. And I've seen it. Pain. Look at her mouth. Oh, God. Um. Let's try to be nice-ish to the old crazy woman. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time, out of hope. That is true. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. What? He's alive. How do you know that? Where where is he? You you don't have him. No. Where where is he? Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like Do I look I like a kid to you? Well, son. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I can just Feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Oh. Diamond City. 
The biggest settlement around. Ooh. Okay, so you can feel his life force. Vague at best, but yeah, I'm working from nothing. Give me more, crazy woman. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working from nothing. I need more. Look, kid, <laughs> I'm tired now. Okay. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. You're an addict. Oh. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Uh, shush, yeah, it is. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. That, that's... Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move That's kind of cool. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? Yeah. And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based well, on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it well, I, hold on, hold on. I, I live there. I know Everybody it's a place. Take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Yeah, woman. Please enlighten us. Well, that's what I thought. Sanctuary it is. Now, let's, let's just um, hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's let's go. To go. Oh, okay. God, what is wrong with that guy? Is he, is he suffering from PTSD? That's what it looks like, kind of. Anyways, us, I say we go ahead and follow these people to the sanctuary. Get I mean, going. Diamond City is where you need to head. But I wanted to come with. Not you. I wanted to come with Preston. I wanted to know what they're going to do with my neighborhood. Well, I guess we can uh, follow them and see what's going to... See what they're going to do. Okay, what? Don't forget the price we paid to get this what boss. is that? What is that? <laughs> Let's move out. <gasps> Nasty. We're right behind you, boss. Yeah, we're right behind him. Let's, uh... We need, a, we need a laser rifle. We really do need a laser rifle. Let's, uh, I think we go ahead and stick with them. Get back to Sanctuary and maybe, uh... First time I've seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead. Talk about Deathclaw. Yeah, I know. Pretty impressive, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and follow Preston and the gang over to Sanctuary and see what their plans are for the place. And then after that, we will assumedly head south to Diamond City. Oh. Okay. So yeah, that that is the current plan as of right now. We're going to walk slowly but surely to Sanctuary. This could take a little while. You know, Preston, we could jog to Sanctuary. No. Fine. I uh, can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Excuse me. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> yeah, watch your words there, Mr. Elvis Presley wannabe. Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. He really is a strange guy. Really is unpleasant. Wow, you really are bad at whistling. You know that? That was real. <laughs> that was really bad. And whatever. We're almost there, kind of, sort of. Stay away from that place, by the way. That's mine. Don't worry. That. I think I just found my new sanctuary. vacation home. Oh, uh, excuse me. Heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to sanctuary first, though. And it's all mine. I think we're close. You better not be walking into another trap. We're not. Codsworth is the only living thing. Well, living is a relative term, I assume, but he's the only mobile thing in the damn neighborhood. So don't worry about it. God. Paranoid. Yeah, Sergius, you stay away from Red Rocket. That's my place. 
I have claimed it for my own by the right of conquest. I killed a bunch of mole rats over there. Alright. Uh, haha, the. Um, is that a Revolutionary War monument? I mean, is that what that is? I, I, I've never really thought about it. Well, I'll be damned. It's a monument to the original Minutemen. Oh, okay, yeah. It was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I is this? the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Is that really yeah, what this is? Uh, I should have listened to Mama Murphy all it. along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. Yeah, it is. It, it's mine. My place. I get a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah, you're, you're, uh... Um... Where's the, where's the option, um... This is my neighborhood? Uh, yeah. I used to like living here, yeah. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here... Yep. Over 200 years ago, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Mm, sort Anybody of. Anybody else make it out with you? Um. Yeah. Maybe. I woke up at one point. Some people killed my wife and kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had one Here it goes. For help. <laughs> They're still hoping their Miniman. So it begins, eh? Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, All right. Yeah, fair enough. I got my hands full here. Yeah, you do. You could go help out the settlement. Mm, sure. <laughs> yeah, what kind of help? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual raiders. Hmm. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, this is probably more along the lines of my oh, feeling. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. <laughs> They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. That's what the Minuteman is supposed to be all about. Yeah, By yeah, the yeah. Way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, I could do that. But, um, I think... Do I even, do I even have enough stuff? Let me see, do I have... I really don't have much stuff. Do I have like... No, nope. I, I really don't have much stuff. Like food and junk. I have like no junk at this point, so... Alright, well at this point I think we're gonna go ahead and go help the... Ten Pines Bluff. Where would that be? Okay. That's actually pretty darn close in all things considered, so... Um, now hoping, hoping they don't send us to the other side of the dang commonwealth, but, um, there's Diamond City, okay. Well, if, if they send us, you know, somewhere in this area, maybe we could pop down to Diamond City? Mm. I think we go help them. Just go see what they want, I think is the deal. Um... And before we do that, let's go ahead and go drop off any junk we have. We, we don't have very much. We just have a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. And then after, once when we come back from helping them, because I'm assuming we have to come back and report our success to Preston there, we'll, um, we'll kind of help them get started here at um, my neighborhood. And we'll do a little bit of, uh, little bit of settlement building. We'll, um, yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to go help the settlers. Um, do any others that um, come along, and then we'll uh, do that. All right, so we got that in there. Now Codsworth, we should probably let him know that everything went well. That we are still alive, Codsworth. How the hell are you, Mr. Wayne? Welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find. 
find some assistance in Conquer. Yeah. Yeah, a few new friends. Yeah. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. Yep. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, what? but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Oh, dude. Just say the word. Oh, dude. Oh, that is so tempting, but I do like dog meat. I feel like Cosworth would be more battle ready. Is that the word? I mean, dog meat's kind of no, no. Right now, I want no, not now. All right, then. I want you to stay here, Cosworth, and kind of, def as you said, defend the home front while I go out and do things. And then, uh, I think after what, once we get these people settled down, then we'll take Cosworth out. I think we'll do that. Okay, so. Um, I think the next stop actually we need to do is sleep or you know I think we'll go ahead and sleep on the couch here and then we'll in the morning we will head out and um, go help those settlers because we're the only person in the Commonwealth that can possibly help them all right time to rock and roll over to Tom Ten Pines Bluff not too far, it should only be a couple of minutes for the journey. Preston will be back. Hopefully in one piece, but uh, you know, judging by what I've seen so far from the Commonwealth, I can't promise anything. To Ten Pines Bluff we go. And a rad storm to boot. Lovely. I gotta admit, the world does look really cool when it's in a, in a rad storm, though. I mean, dang. Dang, how cool does this look? I mean, this is like, this is something that Fallout 3 and New Vegas just just did not have, unless you had mods, but then, I mean, still, it didn't, does not compare to this. This is just really, really cool. Very cool. Thicket excavations. What do we have here? What? I can't quite see down there because of the storm. Is there. That isn't picking anything up. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go ahead and, uh,. Drop down here and see what we've got. Is that water? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It kind of looks like there's water down there. Let me see. Yeah, that's definitely water, and definitely irradiated water at that. Okay. Oh, is that... That's a light. Signs of civilization, perhaps? Hopefully friendly. Oh! Don't mind if I do! Hello, sir! Who are you? Change your tune unless you want to lose a limb. What's up? Looking to earn some cats? Sure. I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. Uh, I wasn't gawking at anything. Yeah, you, mm, get that. I could probably help for a few caps extra. I was gonna give you something anyway. Seventy-five caps for your time. Uh, sure, seventy-five caps. What? What? What exactly what do you need? Help with. Now, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be uh, underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not getting enough pressure. Some of the pipe gaskets must be letting air out and flooding the pump. You see any bubbles on the surface? You should be able to uh, follow those down. So you want me to swim in the irradiated water for 75 caps? <sighs> well, I, I suppose every bit helps. All right. Well, we do have a bunch of rad X, I know. So, and we do have our gas mask, so we should be able to survive. Let's see. Where where are these? 
We got one there, one over there, and one there. Okay. All right, dog meat. Um, you're immune to radiation, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> do whatever you want. How many? How much red? We have three right away. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do it and get out in the water. Let's see, dog meat. Oh, look at that. He loves swimming. All right. Let's see, uh, bubbles. There we go. One down. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Two down. Now, what is this for? He, he just he, he sounds suspicious, doesn't he? And where's there's the last one there? All right, easy pickings. Sully Mathis. Remember that name. Remember that name. Oh, jeez. Refreshing that swim was not. Let's, um... Rrr, refreshing it was not. <laughs> yes. Let's, uh... Clear ourselves from rads and get on up and talk to Sully here. Oi! Excuse me. Hi. That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. Sounds good. Now, I played enough Fallout to know that this is not the end of the line, is it? <laughs> Surely there's going to be something more after this. Whoa. Purrs like a kitten, eh? Oh, what? Oh! What is that? Okay. Go after him, not me. He's the one who's, uh... Yeah, you know what? Doesn't matter. Um. Uh... How much damage are we doing? Mm, we don't have a crit, so let's just go ahead and go for the body. Oh, it's solely down already. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dog meat. Oh. Why aren't you going after him? Okay, we've almost got him. We've almost got him. These guys aren't too hard. Ooh, did I hit him in the face? Yeah, you deal with him, I'm gonna deal with this guy. Where are you where are you at? Where, 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 where? Oh! Wait, is he dead? Is he dead? He owed me some money. No, he's not, okay. Uh uh. Blow his head off! Oh, oh yeah! Woo! Hell, ooh! <laughs> I did blow his head off. Clean off, yes. I'm a Trinicon fan. If you can't hear that already, hello, Sully. Um, Meyer looks. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that started up. Yeah. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little. Yeah, no problem. You clear out. For the 75 caps, I think that was reasonably easy. Now I'm gonna come back and check on you, and you better not make this into a raider camp or something, or ooh, am I gonna kill you? We have two level ups. Hello. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, Awkward Boy would definitely be something useful. But I'm thinking at this point, Rifleman and Gunslinger. Because those are the two, but I want to go commando at some point, so I think we're not going to be taking too much in riflemen. Because, of course, riflemen will be for a sniper rifle. We'll, you know, generally we're going to be carrying around a sniper rifle for most of the uh, most of the time we're out here. As soon as we can find one, of course. So, ooh. oh, oil and soap. We'll be picking up soap. That's for dang sure. Right at this point, I think we just need to pretty much pick up everything we find. Yes. Pipe revolver rifle? Is that any good compared to what we've got? Mm. So use 45 ammo, which I don't have very much of at all. Mm. Should probably give that to dog meat, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let him hold on to it for now. Yeah. You know what? I think. We're going to go and put that on 5, even though. Oh. What? 
I don't know. That, yeah, there we go. How does it look, too? It looks very homemade. Eh, I think it would be cooler as a pistol. We can maybe, maybe make it into a... Because uh, the fully upgraded pipe revolver nice. pistol, it, it, it's not great, but it, it certainly could be worse. All right, dog meat. Dog meat. Hey. Have a minigun. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm sorry. I have a couple other things here, too. Uh, let's see. Oh. oh. That doesn't weigh anything, so. Alright. To Den Pines Bluff we go. Let's not get too distracted now. Crawl out through the fallout, baby. When they drop that bomb. Alright, so at this point, I had, well, an issue, to say the least. I got to a point where I was on my way to Ten Pines Bluff, and I was simply uh, unable to advance past the point. Uh, my game would crash every single time. I tried uninstalling a few mods, and nothing worked. I looked up on the internet, and basically the only way to fix it was to reinstall the entire game. Um, now, of course, I still have the save, so it won't be a huge issue. Um, but that's why this episode was not longer, and that's also why it's taken me a few days since episode 1 to get out of episode 2. Um, so I do apologize for that. Technical difficulties is basically the reason. But uh, I've reinstalled the game, did a fresh reinstall, and so basically we should not have any more issues from here on out. So uh, yeah, that, that's about it. I do apologize for that again. Um, for those of you who do, do watch my Let's Play, I, I do appreciate it again. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. I love you all your life, although that may not be too long. Crawl out through the fallout, baby, to my loving arms, while those ICBMs keep us free. When you hear me call out, baby, kick the wall out.